So color and chemistry is a demo that we do on the floor. We did it for Color Fest, and we're gonna do it for you now. So first we're gonna start with pouring some of this hydrochloric acid into these beakers so we can start by showing the people what our first ingredient is. Not too much. Our next ingredient is sodium hydroxide and that is a strong base. So what's happening to these beakers when the acids and bases are mixed together is that they're neutralizing. The reasons why they turn different colors is actually because we cheated. We put color indicators into each of these six beakers. The red is phenolphthalein, the yellow is m nitrophenol, and the blue is thymophthalein. And we just mix, we use a combination of those three colors to make the orange, green, and purple. So as soon as the solution becomes more basic than acidic, that is when the color starts to show. So we measure acids and bases on something called a pH scale. And when we had the acid in the beakers, it was a pH of around two. And as we added more and more base, it, the pH started to rise and become more neutral. The more and more base we added, the more neutral it got until it passed the point of being neutral and became more basic. Neutral is seven. So after it got past seven, after the pH got past seven, it started to become basic and that's when the colors started to show in the beakers. But once I put more acid into one of these beakers, it's going to tip back to a smaller number, making it more acidic. making the color disappear because it's acidic. So it's a little disappointing that the color is gone due to Sally's acid rain. So we are going to make it basic again, tip the scale towards the base side. Now that we brought the colors back, we're gonna do something very special. We're gonna get out our 30 milliliters of very concentrated hydrochloric acid and mix them all together and see what happens. As you can see, there is not very much acid in here. However, it is so concentrated that um, it will overcome all of the base that we have in our beakers. So we want to do two at a time? As you can see, the solution inside this large container is still acidic, even though we poured all of that base into there. Because of the 30 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. So the last thing that we like to do with visitors is show them the way that they can actually do this kind of experiment at home, involving few simple household products. First we have cabbage juice, which is going to act as our indicator. We just soaked cabbage, cut up, cabbage, cut up purple cabbage in hot water. She's trying to strain out as much of the cabbage as she can. But that purple juice, the purple color is going to be our neutral. The more pink the color gets, or the more red it gets, it will be acidic, and the more blue or green it is, the solution is going to be basic. All right, so the other three household items we need are baking soda, Alka-Seltzer, and lemons. And because these aren't very dangerous, we don't need our safety equipment anymore. So first we like to ask visitors what they think these common household items are going to be, acidic or basic. Or neutral. Lemons are sour, and the thing that makes lemon sour is something called citric acid. And clearly by the name, Citric acid is acidic. As you can see, the cabbage juice is turning a more pinkish red color, and that is an indicator of acidity. Next, we're going to use baking soda. Baking soda is a base, so it should turn blue. Bluish green. Another thing we like to do is to help disprove some myths. 
So we have some effervescent tablets, and these are supposed to be antacids, so you would think that they're basic. However, when we try this out, as you can see, the cabbage juice does not turn blue. It turns a lighter color, which usually means acidic. If you want to learn more about Color Fest or the Exploratorium, go to www.exploratorium.edu.